So yesterday, Prusa announced the Core One L. And I'm going to give you the ins and outs of this new printer and tell you why I think the L is Prusa's new kind of starting place for their printers. First, let's talk about the specs. The L in Core One L stands for large. And this upgrade finally brings the printer up to 300 by 300 by 330 millimeter build volume. It might only seem like a slightly bigger build volume than the 250 by 250 by 70 of the Core One, but this essentially doubles the overall volume of prints you can make while only making the external dimensions about 10% larger. So its size firmly plants the printer between the original Core One and the XL in Prusa's lineup. And for $17.99, it gets a whole lot closer to what the H2D offers for its size, but without all the bells and whistles. But I think that'll change soon. So now to some of the cooler stuff. The Core One L has a new aluminum build plate that has active heating elements, making sure that you can actually heat up the entire chamber to 60 degrees Celsius compared to the original Core One's 55. The H2D still has a leg up here with the chamber temp of 65C, but it's getting a lot closer. Unfortunately, the hot end has stayed the same max temp of 290C, which is fine for 99% of filaments and prints, but for anybody who wants to use the strongest, you know, engineering grade filaments like Peak, the H2D goes up to 350C, which is a complete game changer for this price point. What else would be a complete game changer is if you were to subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel, so any help doing that would be great. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them down below. And if you liked the video, you know, like and subscribe. Now back to the main point of this video, here are the comfort upgrades that bring Prusa to the modern age of 3D printing, finally. All of these printers come pre-assembled and calibrated from the factory. Every Core One L comes shipped with a hardened nozzle, finally. And all of these printers come with the buddy camera in the box. And those last three things really were things that everybody, including myself, just rolled her eyes a bit when comparing the Core One to its competitors. I love Prusa, but the only annoyances I had were that the things that seem standard across the industry were not standard on the Core One. But again, like I said in my Core One video, Prusa's dedication to always improving their products after launch and listening to the community plus the excellent support they had and the issues I had with the Mark IV S make them a trustworthy choice for me. So let's talk why. For the price of the H2D, you get a smaller build volume, you get a lower chamber temp, a lower nozzle temp, and most importantly, one less nozzle. But I think this is Prusa's new standard. My opinion is they ran out of space to grow on the old platform, you know, they've been going from the original Prusa all the way to the core one, just upgrading and now this is their way to stay competitive. It's a new platform and this is the one to pay attention to. I think a lot will come out of this and they've already teased more things will be added later to this printer. So I assume this will get upgrades over time that will bring it up to the level of the competition. But to start, they had to exit the Core One platform and move into something new. And that's what this is and that's why this is cool. It's not cool because it's the most competitive right now, it's cool because this is a new platform that will become competitive. I'm pretty sure the Core One will stick around for a while and get upgrades, but this just now is their new standard. So they'll test all the new tech on the original Core One before implementing it into future Core One L upgrades. I wanna get my hands on a review unit soon, but I think it's fair to say, without having it in my hands, that this is the printer everybody wanted the Core One to be to begin with. And Prusa is finally in the same arena as Bamboo Lab. And while they aren't the most feature packed right now, I think that this move to a bigger form factor means they're not locked into this upgrade path from years past, the original Prusa to the Core One. So this means a lot more innovation can actually come out of this move. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you think. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.